welcome to another edition of An Hour with Bob. And this is a special edition of An Hour with Bob. Tonight, we are looking at pictures. This is a picture edition of An Hour with Bob. And you know what brought this on? I saw Jay Leno last night on 60 Minutes. And it was sad to see Jay Leno on 60 Minutes. 60 Minutes is a CBS show. Jay Leno is on the Today Show, I mean Tonight Show and NBC. And by the way, Jay Leno is the top show on NBC. And he's being forced out of NBC. Make no mistake about it. He doesn't want to leave NBC. He doesn't want to leave the Tonight Show. But um, they're realizing that the demographics are showing that even though he is the number one show, even though he has higher ratings than David Letterman, it's that time. It's, well, they think it's that time. They thought it was that time a few years ago when they bumped him out in favor of Conan O'Brien. But that, you know what happened there? It didn't end up working. Conan O'Brien bombed out. But uh, even Leno thinks it's different this time. First of all, he likes uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon, it, unlike the, the relationship he had with Conan O'Brien. In fact, I saw the interview they had on the Today Show this morning. And uh, Fallon was there and um, with Matt. And he, you know, you could see that there's a, there's a genuine friendship Fallon and Letterman, uh, Leno have. Even though he doesn't like going, he doesn't mind handing the baton or the, the reins or whatever you want to call it over to Fallon. But Leno is a workaholic. Uh, in fact, there's a, I think it's still a trivia question that there's a, had, there has only been one fill-in for Jay Leno. He started in 1992, by the way, and here it is, 2014. And, and what brought me to do this show tonight is I started in 1992. Um, Jay Leno has had only one fill-in host since, to my knowledge, I don't know if anybody can tell me different, to my knowledge, he has not had only one fill-in host since 1992. And can you think of who it was? Can anybody think of who it was? And I'm not sure I'm even going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you right now anyway, and I may not tell you before the show is over. But stay tuned to see if I do tell you who it is. But before we get into the show, which I'm going to show you some pictures of the show, of, of past shows. I'm going to show you pictures of things I have done in past shows of Bob's Big Adventure in the past 22 years. In fact, I will show you a couple before I introduce my band tonight. Uh, last show, I had Reggie Centracchio, the former Adjutant General of the National Guard, on the show. And we talked about some of our adventures, uh, the Adjutant General and myself went on, and this was something I, I talked about, or we talked about on the show, and this was my very first sh sh adventure, uh, Bob's big adventure, was when I snuck on a C-130 with uh, some Navy SEALs in 2002 when I was doing pictures at Shooters, and I'm going to show you a bunch of photos I took at Shooters when I was doing the photos at Shooters for all the, all the bands and all the the other events that was going on at Shooters, that were going on at Shooters, I should say. And because I talked about that, I thought it was important. Um, and because I got a lot of emails about it, oh, you did all the photos at Shooters, and they wanted to see some of the photos, so here I am. I'm going to show you some of the photos I did at Shooters. Now, I'm going to show them to you after I uh, introduce the band. But I want to show you a couple of them first. This is how I started doing television. And this is the very first time I did Bob's Big Adventure. This was what I did. I snuck on a plane and I, I did this photograph and I did this photograph. And see the, this is one of those crazy guys, one of those, uh, this is a Navy SEAL jumping out of the plane with uh, one of the newer versions of that, that time, a primitive version of, uh, uh, what do they call them now, Corey? What do they call these cameras now? GoPro, GoPro right? I don't think they were GoPro. I think it was just a camera st strapped on it. I think this guy was ahead of his time, and uh, he didn't. Ma he's not the billionaire, the, the guy that invented the GoPro camera. This is just a, a guy that uh, strapped on a, a camera on his 
on his, on his helmet. And here's three of them. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to get to the, 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 the pictures I shot at shooters, but he's, here's the three of the many pictures I shot doing um, Bob's Big Adventure at my first adventure with the uh, National Guard, the very first National Guard adventure, the very first adventure I did on Bob's Big Adventure. But we're going to come back to that after I introduce my guest tonight. And here's their CD. Is it CD? Now, now we're still at CDs. Now, I'm, I'm afraid to say it now because nowadays I don't know what the heck you're, you're doing on, right? CD. Je Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Jeff. Jeff Bird. Yep. And I actually made a mistake, and I apologize for, uh, for that. I, uh, I emailed you a couple times, and I mistakenly emailed Jeff B-I-R-D instead, instead of Jeff B-Y-R-D, right? Yeah, it's common, that's a common mistake. And I, and I, I rectified it, and I got it to yeah. you finally, right? You did. You did. We made it work. We made it work. We, we, we made it, it work. And yeah. Jeff, tell, us, tell everybody how we met. Uh, we were playing uh, at the Greenwich Hotel uh, down in East Greenwich. Um, about I don't know a couple months ago, right? Month, month and a half, maybe two months ago, and, um, and there you were. You were hanging out, kind of in and out of the in and out of the, the establishment, and and just kind of chatted. And as we were playing, um, you know, Bob came up and kind of handed me his car and said, "Hey, I like your stuff." And here you go. And then we just connected, and uh, here we are. So I'm very happy to be here. So thank you for having us. Yes, I like your stuff. I like your music. I thank like you. your sound. Introduce the guys to me. Oh, uh, we, we got Sean O'Brien on the bass. Uh, back on the drums, we got Joe Grasso, and over here to my right, Mr. Dan Simpson. And what, now, wait a minute. What'd you call him? Dan Simpson. Oh, Dan Simpson. Dan, yeah. Oh, Dan Simpson. Dan. Oh, all right. Damn, Dan Simpson. <laughs> Dan Simpson. Dan, Dan Simpson. <laughs> uh, what kind of stuff do you do? Uh, we do kind of like, a, I guess you can call it Americana type um, rock, alt country. It's 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 all kind of different tags on it but I mean it, for the most part it's just music you know it's just rock music with a little bit of twang to it I guess so. and, and you're local guys huh you're Rhode Islanders I understand yeah yeah we're from we're most of us are from Rhode Island and uh, we've been playing we play anywhere from New York up to Maine we, we pretty much have toured up and down the Northeast um, uh, area so um, and we normally play within that within that specter um, sure but uh, yeah so hopefully we'll be getting out of here Soon, maybe travel, see a little more of the of the world. But for right now, that's what we're doing. All right, good. Well, give us a song. Absolutely. In such silence, 
Such a beautiful sound Baby, check the plane About the ship I'm in I'm so used to losing Never thought I'd win Ooh. Baby, can you tell me If it's you or me I'm so used to walking Never knew I needed sleep Just wait and wake me when it's time to dream Nice job. Now, I, I, I sent a little, uh, I don't know, I almost sensed a, a um, what, what, is the, what is the name of the group that uh, um, Roy Orbison and the, uh, the group? Wilburys? The, tra traveling Wilburys. That's a huge Do I, do I catch some yeah. of that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We, we, I mean, we actually do a uh, Wilbury song. Um, we cover a, a, a traveling Wilbury song. But, uh, yeah, Patty, Dylan, Harrison, I mean, all those guys are huge. You know, Jeff Lynn, huge influences. So, yeah, awesome. How's that? I'm glad you caught that. That's very cool. Wow, isn't that interesting that I picked that up, huh? Yeah, yeah definitely. And I'm a big Orbison fan, by the way. Oh. I, I was it's a amazing. big Orbison fan. He's amazing. I saw him in the day a few times, actually. He was amazing. Big, big talent. Yes, great talent. Getting back to the photographs, we're talking about photographs back in the day. My original photographs from... The shooters, the, the days of shooters and the days of my trips and the original reason why I started doing television and doing my original show, An Hour with Bob and Bob's Big Adventure, 1992. Started in May of 1992. Look at this picture, folks. In one of my earlier pictures, this picture, who is this guy? Everybody recognize this guy? LL Cool J. This was, this was one of the nicest guys. Now, everybody thought, I thought anyway, he's a rapper at the time, LL Cool J. I thought he was going to be this, you know, uh, a rapper, or, you know, one of the, the guys that would, it came from a gang, supposedly, and, a, 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 you know, going to have a, 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 an attitude, tough guy. He was one of the nicest guys I had ever met. In fact, so, such a nice guy that I, I wrote a letter to his manager in California, in L.A., I got a, I got a whole, I found out who his manager was. This was back in the shooters days. And I guess it was, it was about 1993. I wrote a letter to his manager. I was so impressed with the guy, uh, telling what a nice guy he was and, and what a nice person he was. He told, he told his security people that he wanted me to handle all the people coming up on stage and all the people that would be allowed to get near him. He wanted me to handle all that. And look at this guy. You, can, you guys can uh, contribute here. Who's this guy? Do you know who this guy is, Jeff? Alfonso. Alfonso. Now, is, now he's from where? And originally, What is it? Silver Spoon. Silver Spoon yeah. Oh, my God. That's when he was a little kid, yeah, right? Yeah, he's a kid. <laughs> Alfon he's a heck of a dancer, you know. I, well, he was in that uh, commercial, Michael Jackson, remember? Um, the Coke commercial? Pepsi. Or Pepsi commercial? Where they da they danced together. When, when he went on fire there, when he uh, caught on fire. I think it was before that, but it was like they made this commercial together, and it was huge. It was Alfonso Ribeiro and and Michael Jackson. They danced or something. They did a dance off, and Michael Jackson hands the the Pepsi. Well, he was at Shooters. Yeah. Uh, he was friendly with um, I can't think of the guy's name, and it escapes me. He'll be mad at me when he sees this show because he's still from around here. Uh, he's from East Providence. Uh, he was in a band. Gosh, it'll come to me. I'm sure it will. Real nice, real nice guy, and he's in a band. He's still in a band around here. He's friendly with him. 
And here we go. This is that shooter. Now, somebody caught this. Who got this? Who got the answer to this question? Who is this guy? Is that Mr. Big? He's right in the front here. Who is this guy? Wait, do I get a shot of him? Where is he? Right there. Who is, oh, yeah. who is the guy in the front? I need a point to hear. Yeah, that's the band Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Yeah. What, what's the name of the song, he, the hit he had? To Be With You. To Be With You. Yeah. He was a nice kid. He was, a, he was an 18 and 19 year old kid at the time. And this is my buddy right behind him, T.J. Knapp. Tony, Tony Banks, he goes by now. He's from Cranston, Rhode Island. He's a w very good friend of mine back in the day. We, we chummed around quite a bit. I, I did a lot of stuff with him at Pro FM. And uh, he was in Florida for years. Now he's in California. Remember him? T.J. Knapp, he was on Pro FM for a number of years. Anyway, who, all right, who got this one? Somebody got this one. Who, yeah, I, this, you got this one too, right? Yeah, that's Leon Russell. Leon Russell. No, he's from England. No, he's not. He's not. He's from Oklahoma. Cut it out. No, I kid you not. He's, I thought he was from England. No, he was. He hung around with all those English guys, but he was actually started as a session musician at Muscle Shoal Sound. And uh, he got famous uh, playing for, uh, in Joe Cocker's band. Wow, yeah, I so thought he go. was from England. He, he come with that genre, genre, genre. Yeah, he, he come did, with that he whole... did, and he hung out with George Harrison and all those guys, but yeah. he, he's, he's from Oklahoma, I'm, that's for sure. I met that, I met Denny Lane a, a several months ago. Yeah, from Wings. From Wings, yeah. from Wings. and uh, I thought he was with that whole group. Well, they, they all hung out together, he was around then. Uh-oh, look at look what I mixed in here. This got mixed in here, this is a mistake here. How did he get mixed in here? Who, well, you know who this is anyway, right? That's Baseball play. Who got this one? Well, everyone gets that one. That's Wade Boggs. That's Wade Boggs. Wade Boggs. And, he's with, and by the way, he's in a Red Sox uniform at the time. Yeah, I met him a long time ago. I met him when he was, I met him at the Pawtucket Red Sox game. By the way, he was with, do you know he was a better hitter when he was with Boston than he was with Pawtucket? Do you know that? He, he played for Pawtucket, and he was like a 280 hitter, 290 hitter. We went to Boston, he was a 330 hitter. That probably does better on the big stage. Well, some guys are like that, yeah. yeah. Some guys are like that. I, I, I actually sat with him on the, not, we didn't even sit in the stands, ironically. We sat on the, on the stairs in Pawtucket. We're in Pawtucket right now, folks. We sat on the stairs, on the stairs talking. Uh, I was coaching Little League at the time. This is way back in the 90s. And talking baseball and uh, just looking at the players. And Because uh, back in the day, I, we started, my league started the, uh, the, the players, you know, bringing kids down to the field to, to meet the players and having clinics with the players at McCoy. And who are these guys, huh? Now, you, you got to know them, Matt. What's your name? Uh, I'm Dan. Danny. Yeah, I can't really see them. Oh, you here, can't? So, no. Oh, oh you're, you're right. hidden from that over there. <laughs> oh, dummies. Oh, all right. I got that one. Did you see that? Now I can see them. Yeah, you can see him. that now, huh? Yeah. They, they, hit the they mm -hmm did a promo song. for me years ago, you know. These guys did a promo for me. I think those are my relatives. Are they? <laughs> I thought they were related to me myself. <laughs> yeah, they did a promo for me. We watched Bob's Big Adventure. They did. I'm serious. All right. Uh, who got this one? I think you did, Jeff. Did I? Didn't you which get one? this one? I can't think which one it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Color Me Bad. Color Me Bad. Yeah. These, were, these guys were great guys, too. Good dancers, too. Good singers, actually. They were, these were, these guys were at, I think this was at Shooters. No, maybe this wasn't. I can't remember what this was. No, I don't think this was at Shooters. I can't remember what this was. How about this one? This guy's still playing. He's still touring. Uh, he was, he was around recently. He was in, uh. He was down in, um, he was down in one of the casinos a couple, oh, a month ago, I think. You know who that is? Yeah, it's, uh, that is, that's Eddie Money, right? Eddie Money. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I hear it, what, uh, John, John's chiming in, in the, in the. Yeah, it's F. John's chiming in, in the, the director, John Flanagan's chiming in on that. I can hear him. Eddie Money. What was he, John? He was a cop. Where? Oh, I don't know where. Didn't he get shot in the face? Or something. That's why shot he had, in the face. Yeah, that's why he has that like you know his face is a little bit like off. Like I heard he got shot in the face as a cop. Really? Yeah, that's that's new. what I heard. I don't know. That's new to me. I don't know if he got shot in the face. Could be wrong. All right, who's who are these girls? I spent an afternoon with these girls. Or actually, several. 
hours with these girls. Who are they? It's TLC. TLC. Yep. Now one of them's dead, right? Yeah. Left the girl eye. on on the left. Yeah. Yeah. The girl on my left is passed on, right? Not the one right next to you, but the one at the far. The one with the the, the, uh, the ponytail. Yeah, the one in the white. Yeah. What's her? What was her name? That was Left Eye. Left Eye. Yeah. yeah, didn't she burn her boyfriend's house down or something? Yeah, he was a football player. No, Andre basketball. Risen. I think it was a basketball player. Well, he it? played for the Falcons, Andre Risen. A bas was it basketball? Football. Oh, it was football. Wide receiver, yeah. He played for who? Played for the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, did he? Yeah, Andre Risen. That's right. That's yeah. right. I stand corrected. Yes. He bur he, she, she burnt this house down, right? <laughs> yeah, she did. She straight <laughs> up did. <laughs> and what happened? She died. Some, did she, how did she die? Not in a, uh, a plane crash, right? No, a car, was it a car wreck? It was a car wreck. It was a car wreck. You're thinking of uh, Aaliyah. But You're thinking of Buddy time. Holly. But um, oh, Buddy Holly, crash. too. <laughs> <laughs> she, she died in a car crash. <laughs> a little bit different, huh? <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> Slightly different. Yeah, she died, in a, she died in a car crash. She died in a car crash. Now, now who is, who is uh, Chili? Now, whose daughter is she? Isn't she somebody famous' as daughter? I think so. I don't know. I'm not sure. I could who be it, wrong. Who it, John? What? Chili, the girl that's close to, closest to me. Isn't she somebody famous as daughter? I, I thought I heard she was somebody not famous. That I know of. No, she's not Jay Leno's daughter. She's somebody's daughter. She's somebody's daughter, that's for sure. <laughs> Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Very nice guy. He ended up at my house. Him and his him and his band after this uh, this gig at Shooters. It's Marky. Who, who is it? Marky. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah. This was at Shooters. Yeah. Th this was at Shooters back in the day in the nineties. Now he's a big actor. Yeah, he's a good actor too. I know. He's very, very, very. He's popular. done very well for himself. Yeah. And his brother too. His brother's done very yep. well. He has on Blue Blood. He's done. He's done a done a good job. Yep. Plus, they also uh, own a few shows. Do they really? Yeah, they do. It wouldn't surprise me. They, they seem like businessmen. Good businessmen. Well, Mark owns uh, owns that that show on. Um, uh, oh God, I can't think of it now. He own, he owns a couple shows anyway. Uh, uh, help me out, John. What show does Mark own? He owned that show on. Um, one of the cable on Showtime. He owns a show on Showtime. Yeah, I know. They do that show, Wahlburgers. Well, that's a that's a Hamburg, actually. Yeah, yeah but no, it's a reality show too. Oh no, that Boston something, Boston Finest. He owns that show, but that's no, he owns a, another TV show. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. It it will come to me, but I don't know it yet. I don't. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Folks, where was this picture taken? Can somebody tell me where this picture was taken? No, don't you? I told you. You guys know there. I, I already told you where it was taken. Do you know where this was taken, guys? I don't. Band know. members, no. do you know where this taken? No. No. You you guys can't say it in in there because I told you where, what the answer is. We heard him say. Folks, we're gonna put this aside because I want you to think about where this was taken. You can email me, or go on my Facebook, an hour with Bob or Bob's Big Adventure, and tell me where you think this was taken. I shot this picture, got to be 20 years ago. In fact, uh, I better block that because I think on the bottom it says it right there. I took this picture, it's got to be 20 years ago. Very, very well-known spot, and I think I got another shot I'm going to show you later. I'll show you how high the flame was and how high the smoke was from this fire. And you tell me if you can figure out where it was. You can go on, or you can, or you can uh, check out uh, my Facebook, Bob Venturini. Either Bob Venturini, an hour with Bob, or Bob's Big Adventure. Any of the three on Facebook, or Bob at bobsadventures.com. How about this one? Everybody knows where that picture was taken. And uh, by the way, I took this picture. This is one of very common. A lot of people have taken good shots of this. This is one of my sunset pictures. I, I love this shot. This is a shot from Goat Island in Newport, 
of the, somebody said the Pell Bridge, I still call it the Newport Bridge, but it is called the Pell Bridge now. That's at sunset, it's a beautiful shot. Nice serene water, beautiful water, very calm. Isn't that a nice shot? About time for a song, isn't it guys? Sure. We'll leave that picture up while you give us a nice song. Nice serene picture, beautiful picture. What do you got for us? Uh, a song called Best of Me. It's actually a mellower song, so it actually will fit the mood. A mellow song. Yeah, right? it'll fit the mood perfect. All right, perfect. It's on that disc perfect. over there. I've fallen down and a knee. Nothing to speak of, nothing to see. This old damn town and nothing waiting for me. I've written lies and told false truth. Cut my word on everything. But a few are here, maybe one or two. And I'll break my back, just thinking what I could have done. Bend the witch way backwards till it come undone. I'll take what's important. So someday I might see The worst to you is better than the best to me We're in a dark alley, I ain't been Got my share of hits on the chin Had a number of losses and a couple of wins Seen an angel lose her wings, falling from heaven all the while she sings. When your time comes, boy, you can't take the thing. I'll break my back, just thinking what I could have done. Then it which way back was still to come undone. I'll take what's pointed at me. So someday I might see the worst to you is better than the best.
Come on, come on, give us a hand, give us a hand. You got a camera over here or what? Look at this. I, oh, I, I found a couple more sunset pictures. Look at this one. You know, take a guess. Anybody guess where this is from? You can't possibly guess where this is from. Can't possibly know where this is from. What coast is this from? East coast, west coast. Anybody got an idea? West coast. John says west. John says west. Why? Why? All right. Here's an east coast sunset. What did he say? It's a West Coast picture. It, it's a West Coast sunset. Anybody else got a? It's early in the morning on the West Coast. Right? It's, it's early in the morning. It, it, or it could be. On the East Coast, it could be sunrise, no? Could be sunrise on the East Coast, right? Sunset on the West Coast. Kids out playing before dawn on the East Coast, right? That's what I was saying. Sun goes down on the west coast. Huh? What? 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 Sun sets in the west. I, I, I don't get that, John. You happen to be right, John. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to come out and explain it to me, though. That, that, by the way, where is it, John? Wise guy, come on out and explain it to me, John. Why, why you said that? Come on, John. I want you to explain that to me. Come on. Come on on camera and explain this to me. Do you guys know why? Yes. Uh, why? Come over here, John. Come over here and there with Mike. Get over there with Mike, John. Okay. You go They're the not going to hear you, though, John. They can't hear you. The Atlantic Ocean. Come on, Bob. I don't need to explain this. He knows why. He Come on. I want, but I want people to understand how, you, how you're so smart, how you can explain no, this. No, 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 no. The Atlantic Ocean. Go ahead. It's common sense. Go ahead. If you're observing about... You yeah, know, yeah, right, yeah. Go ahead. Sun comes up from the east. Right. And, you, and, and it sets in the west. Right. So that's obviously the Pacific Ocean without going into too much detail. Why couldn't it be the west coast of Florida? It could be the west coast of Florida. Oh. But uh, it looks more like. <laughs> you know why? Because there's a mountain in the background. There's no mountain before. There you go! Little help from the peanut gallery! Don't walk in front of a camera, John. Never walk in front of a camera, John. Anything goes on this show today. Very good. Very good. Good, the good help there. That is. By the way, you know where that is? I didn't get that far. I was going to say that. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were. You know where that was? Mazalan, Mexico. I took that picture in Mazalan, Mexico. In fact, in fact, I have another one from Mazalan that might interest you, you gentlemen, some of you gentlemen. There's another picture. Of, <laughs> there's another picture of Mazalan, Mexico. There's another shot of Mazalan, Mexico. <laughs> well, well, where's the shot? Who changed the shot on me? Who's in there changing the shot? Mark's in there. Mark's in there. What? What? He changed. You got to. You got to wait. That's why. That's why I said some of you gentlemen. He changed the shot. He got rid of the close shot of a girl. What the heck is that, Mark? That's a nice shot. It's a beautiful shot. Is it not? Is that not a beautiful shot? That is gorgeous. That that woman. Her name is Kelly. She happens to be. From Edmonton, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I met her in Mazalan, Mexico. I took that shot. I was Isn't that beautiful? Good shot. There's nothing, nothing bad about that shot. It's a beautiful shot. Well, let's see. We'll get rid of that. There's another shot. Now, that's, that's a, that's not a nice shot. Same, same shot. Same shot. Huh? Born in Edmonton, Canada? Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Yes. Born in Edmonton, New Brunswick. You were? 
No, I'm good. You were? Oh, I didn't know that, John. Where was that shot? Anybody know? I think I told you already, did I? That, that, that's very unique. If, you, if you've done any traveling, Corey, uh, you should know where that is. Corey? Seven Mile Bridge on the way to Key West, Florida. My favorite road, my favorite travel, my favorite ride from, from uh, Miami to Key West, Florida. It's a beautiful, beautiful ride. Seven mile long bridge. I've been to Miami, I don't remember saying that. No, you go south of Miami, okay. from Miami to Key West. It's on the road to Key West. Go out and see our old, uh, our old friend that we're still uh, friendly with on Facebook that used to work on the show. She lives in Key West now. Actually, I have a few people that, that uh, live in Key West that uh, I'm friendly with that are, that are from here. That are, that are from here. Oh, there's a mausoleum again. See the mountains right there, huh? He got it, he got it. The mountains of mausoleum. Who's that guy? Anybody know who that man is? That like Actually, these two guys are famous. That looks like Stephen Who's the other guy? Do you know either one of them? Is that Stephen King? Stephen King? Does he play? Does he play the guitar? I don't know. It just looks like Stephen King. It doesn't look like Stephen King. It, it, what? It doesn't look like Stephen King. He's right. It looks like Stephen King. To me, it does. It does. To me, it does. To you, it does. Well, you're from Canada, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Although he's from Maine, close by. He, you're right, John. It is Stephen King. John, it is Stephen King. Are you serious? It is. It is. They're both writers, by the way. I, I, I don't happen to know who the other guy is, though. He is a writer, though. This is a, they put a band together. Stephen King put a band together of all writers. All, all of the, there were four members of the band. They're all writers. I don't know who the other ones are. But the other guy's a writer, too. I don't know who he is. I don't happen to know who they are. All right, who's this guy? <laughs> that was me in Hungary. That was, that was me. They, they had me put on this as an honor, believe this or not. I was in, I was in this, uh, this ranch in Hungary, and they had me put this outfit on, this uh, sheepskin outfit, as uh, it was supposed to be an honor to wear this thing. It was uh, this guy's uh, outfit. See this guy? I was, we were only horsing around. Go widen out a little bit, John. Widen out a little more. Can you see the horse I'm on? I mean, pretty bad. We're sitting on a horse who's laying down. Can you see the horse? You can't see the horse, though, John. Let me. Oh, oh wait a minute. I got to pull this down so you can see the horse. There's the horse. Yeah, we were just horsing around. Oh, let me see if I can sit this up so you can see the horse. See? We were horsing around in Hungary. I've been to Hungary, Hungary twice, actually. Yeah, we were in, I was in Hungary, and I, I got to uh, go around the country, got to see some wild things. Now, this is interesting, an interesting shot. This is a great time. This was during the Olympics in 1996 in Atlanta, Georgia. This is where they have those, uh, the water sprays and the, right at the Olympic Village. This is, uh, I was there 11 days covering the Olympics. That was a very, very warm time. All right. I, I already told you the answer to the question. So, guys, you can't, get it, you can't tell me where it is. I'm going, to ask, I'm going to ask the viewers if they can guess where this was, what city this was. You guys can't answer because you already know. You already know. You already know where this was, but I'll ask the viewers, where do they think that was? It's another one of my quiz questions. Where, where was this taken? What city was this taken in? You can see the water in the background. Look, look at the dolphins, how high they jumped. They jumped right out of the water in this aquarium. That was amazing. Isn't that an amazing shot? I took some pretty damn good pictures. I'm pretty damn good. All right, where was this? 
Now, let's take a guess. Take a gander at that, huh? Where was that, John? You can't make it out, huh? All right. How about that? How about that? Who knows where that is? Was that San Francisco? Yeah. Yeah. Where was that? Huh? How many, how many, we have one person here has been horse racing. I love horse racing. You ever been, a, a, you ever been horse racing? You ever seen horse racing close? You've never seen horse racing in reality, close up, when the horses come flying by at full gallop? In fact, right across, I was telling these guys, right across the street from where we are right now, sat one of the premier horse racing tracks in the United States, where, where, the, where the movie Sea Biscuit uh, was, uh, was based on. Okay. Narragansett Racetrack was right here, right? The, the, the uh, grandstand is right, we could, you walk out this building right here at, at the old Cox Cable studio and look across the street and you can still see the remnants of the grandstand right here. And that's what the, the movie Sea Biscuit was based on, that building right there. And I worked there when I was a kid. This is based, this was shot, I shot this photograph at Gulfstream Park in Hollywood, California, on um, Federal Highway between Fort Lauderdale and Hollywood, Florida. Beautiful park, by the way, beautiful park. All right, I'm gonna show one more picture. We're going to the band. This is, I think this is Cozumel, Mexico, if my memory serves me correct. And I'm gonna end this segment with one of my, this is one of my, um, Signature photographs. This is, I did a lot of pictures of beautiful, or beauty, I should say. And this, this is one of my signature photographs through the eyes or sunglasses of Corey. Zoom into her glasses. Through the eyes of other people or through the glasses of other people. Zoom right into her, her sunglasses. Look at that, guys. Look at her sunglasses. What is she looking at? And then if I hold up this picture, da -da 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 -da. And who's in the front? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. All right, let's have a song from Jeff B. Oh, Jeff Bird. Got it. Feels wrapped in a sweet skyline of ashes, women, and wine. Ashes, women, and wine. Baby girl, you got a place I can stay. I said, hey, hey, hey. Cause the Alabama since it's turned to gray. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta live something, gotta live for today. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta catch a train just to get away. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. You 
songs finally get lost every time And it is a step behind Nashville's wrapped in a sweet skyline Of ashes, women, and wine Ashes, women, and wine guys Jeff Bird Bird now did you change your last name with the Y or is that no that's the way it came huh mm -hmm. yep that's born now now how did, how did you come up with a dirty Finch uh, I was out one night uh, with some old band members actually Sean was there right were you there for this one I don't know um, we've gone through a couple of different people um, and uh, I was just talking to a gentleman, one of my old guitar players, and we were trying to figure out, I wanted to do, basically I was going to start recording by myself, and they wanted to start playing out as a band. So I told them, I said, if we're going to go play out as a band, I'd like to at least have a band name. I don't want to just go out as Jeff Bird when there's you know, three other guys with me. And he just, we're trying to kind of make a pun off of my name, and he said, how about Dirty Finch? And I was like, yeah, that's well, fine. Which is another bird. Yeah, so we're like, let's just keep it. Jeff Bird and Dirty <laughs> Finch. So it's kind of stuck ever since. So. I like it. I like it. Oh, great job, guys. Thank you. Now, they can get your, uh, don't say money now, don't say a price, you, but you can get this, you can catch this, your, uh, your CD, you can, what's your, you got a website? Yep, it's uh, jeffbirddirtyfinch.com. All right. Uh, we're on Facebook, and uh, you can find that on iTunes and all the other places, too. Yeah, B-Y. B-Y-R-D, yep. B-Y-R-D. All right. Oh, look at this. Here's my, here's my uh, holiday. Uh, this is my Halloween. I took this shot at Phantom Phantom um, Farm over there in Cumberland on, um, where is it, not, not Menden Road, on High Street. And look at this. Who doesn't know, well, the youngin don't know that. Ponderosa Ranch, Encline Village in Nevada. I took that shot. Do oh, you get that? Let me see if we get that better here. All right. Got to run through some of these faster because we're running out of time. This I call reflections. I did a lot of these pictures. Do you know that all the, there's a whole bunch of photographs in the city of Pawtucket, and as politics has it, because I was involved in politics for a while in Pawtucket over the years, the, the temporary mayor or the um, mayor for a short time didn't want me to sign the photographs, but I, oh, 20 by 30 photographs that are on the walls in the city of Pawtucket, I took them. I can't see it up there. I, I took the photographs. And uh, they, they didn't want me to sign the pictures. <laughs> so they're not signed by me, but they're my, they're my pictures. So the, if you see them in, in uh, City Hall, you'll see them. They're my, they're my photographs, which, and this is one of them. This picture I shot in Newport. Who keeps changing the pictures over here? Keep it on the picture, will you? Who's this? John, is that John doing that or is that Mark doing that? John? Gosh. Keep it on the photograph here. You, you keep messing me up here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is, uh, uh, I shot this in Newport. That was, uh, that, that's the ferry, Newport Ferry. All right. I'm going to change, John. So you can come back to me for a second, John. I'm going to change photographs. All right. There you go. 
I'm changing photographs now. Hey, look at this. A, is it, what do they call this? A selfie now? All right, go back to the picture now, John. Come back. To, come in tight now, John. Come in tight now, John. Come into the picture, John. Come in tight. Not tight on me, John. On the picture. On the picture, John. This is a picture of me. Guess where this was taken? Come on, Corey. Get a little. Get a little better on that picture, will you? Get a little. Get a little better on that picture. You're too high. There you go. That that was where? Where was that picture taken, guys? Grand Canyon! Grand Canyon National Park! I said to a friend of mine, we were, we were down in Scottsdale, Arizona, and uh, I said, I want to go to Grand Canyon. He said, we don't have time. It's too late. He made the mistake of falling asleep. It was 10.30 at night. Fell asleep in the car. I asked somebody, how long does it take to get to the Grand Canyon? He said, about six hours. I said, okay. Which way do I go? He says, follow that road. I said, okay. About 10 minutes later, he fell asleep. Three hours later, I was at the Grand Canyon. About 10 minutes before I got there, the guy woke, wakes up and he looks at the speedometer. He looks at me. He big, gives a big yawn. He looks at the speedometer. I'm doing 115 miles an hour. And I'm at the Grand, 10 minutes away from the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I made in two hours and 56 minutes. Anyway, Reno, Nevada, the biggest little city in the world, as it's called. Nice little town, crazy little town. Town never sleeps. Oh, look at this. I've seen disasters. I was, I was at some of the, some of the biggest uh, disasters in the United States over the years. I used to go to a lot of them. I went to uh, Homestead, Florida, when they had the huge, huge uh, hurricane down there. Uh, I went to a lot of disasters over the years, and this was one of the worst ones. It wasn't nearly as big, but as far as disasters goes, and, and a lot of the floods and a lot of the, a lot of the hurricanes and earthquakes. I went to Northridge earthquake, and um, in California, but at least those things they they salvage something. They salvage nothing in this. This this was in Oakland, California. Uh, this was a fire. In Berkeley, California, Oakland, California, nothing remained. There was nothing that was salvageable. Everything was absolutely wiped out. I saw people coming by. You couldn't even tell. See, they, they even mocked the vehicles what kind of vehicle it was because there was no way of telling. People came back to their streets. They couldn't even tell what street they were on. They couldn't tell what kind of car they were. The only way they knew what kind of car it was was by the VIN number. They couldn't tell what, if it was an American car or a, or a foreign car, let alone what model car or what make a car it was. That's how, how bad the, construct, uh, the, the destruction was at, at that time. All right, coming back to me, John. You ready? All right. Here's, a, here's an interesting photograph. Now, tell me what that is. You ready, John? Is that, is that crazy? I took this photograph on a flight. From here to California, and I still don't know what it is. What is it? Anybody know? It's just a, a body of water. Lake Mead. Uh, somewhere on the way from the East Coast to the West Coast. It's uh, somewhere in the, in the mountains uh, near the West Coast, on the way to the West Coast. Looks like Lake Mead. And I'll give you a few more before we... We've got to end this show pretty soon. Oh, you know what I want to do before we do end the show? I want to show you a clip that I thought was uh, um, pretty touching. But before I do, I've got to show you a couple more pictures. I, hey, I, I'm not going to end this show. A couple more. A couple more. Here we go. There's a picture from out of this country. Where is this picture? That's Thailand, folks. I took that picture in... Um, in Thailand. And I'll give you another one from out of this country. Four more minutes, huh? I took this picture. Uh, Reggie and I were talking about that when we went to Bosnia. We crossed the border and we went over to visit two orphanages on Christmas Day. Remember when Reggie Centracchio was here last show? We went there and I also wanted to talk about this one. That was when 9-11. That was when I went down to, to witness the terrible, terrible destruction of 9-11. All right, a couple more before we 
go to that. I want to show you two of my favorite, favorite players of all time, two not only All-Stars, but Hall of Fame baseball players. Frank Robinson, my, my idol baseball player, and Brooks Robinson, the greatest third baseman that ever played the game. Three more minutes. And who's that guy, guys? Who's that band right there? John Bon Jovi, huh? Hung out with them for several hours, actually. And my favorite guy right there. There's a great picture, isn't it? Who's that guy? Huh? That guy is this guy. You know who that is, John? Who, who's that guy, John? Who's that guy? He's not, he's not this guy, is he? <laughs> who is he? Carrot face. Carrot face? No, carrot tie. He's not that guy, though, is he? Oh. Is he that guy? Huh? All right, we're going to leave it with that. And I think we oh, oh, I want to show that clip. Let's, let's show that clip, and then we'll, then we'll say bye with the band. Let's show, we're not going to have time, huh? Go ahead. Making a point. Three points, actually, in more ways than one. Consider the young man our Steve Hartman visited. Down screen. There. Jeff Bird and Dirty Finch. Tell me what to do Help me see you through The world is so much